Good afternoon. Uh, so the, <coughs> the, the slides have been presented by Morgan Richard, who is the head of this project. Uh, he's currently in uh, Senegal to promote the solution. Uh, so I will present uh, it today. So, <coughs> so uh, we will present you the Imagine of project, which is quite different from what has been presented this afternoon. It's much more uh, a solution for innovation, uh, typically for Africa. So we'll travel a little bit uh, during this session. So, uh, so what is uh, the objective of this project? Uh, so as you may know, Orange operates in uh, many countries in Africa. Uh, in Africa, the telecommunication is not as uh, deployed as in uh, developed countries. So typically, there is a few uh, copper line and very, uh, less ADSL accesses, and people communicate using uh, mobile terminals. Even on mobile, there is not a lot of 3G uh, um, deployment on, on, on these countries. So people only can communicate, most people can only communicate using vocal or SMS uh, solutions. In the other hand, we have a lot of services on the web uh, that can, we can, have, can have access if you have an internet connection. Uh, in Africa, uh, there's a lot of people who have also uh, many, many ideas uh, to develop some sp services that are specific to their countries. Uh, in France, it's not possible to imagine all the services that are required by these lo local po populations. So we, we, we also uh, need to, uh, to cover some requirements from uh, uh, local universities, uh, NGO, or other uh, local entrepreneurs who want to have some solution uh, to develop some services. But they couldn't find any, uh, uh, any infrastructure to start to deploy uh, a solution uh, to start to, um, to, to see if their ideas are good or not. So that was, um, uh, like, uh, Emerginov uh, uh, was started two years ago to solve this, uh, these issues. So, so what is that? Uh, so Emerginov, typically, we can consider it as a, as a pass because uh, it, it's a solution that can uh, be hosted in a, any kind of data center. We don't need to use a cloud, uh, uh, solution for, for that, uh, and uh, typically uh, a developer can upload its code towards this uh, this, this platform, and after to, to to run and test the services. Uh, so the main idea also is to uh, uh, to provide to, to, to the developers uh, all the set of tools uh, to uh, to test its services. So that means we will provide uh, them with a, a set of APIs. Uh, the set also the, the hostings uh, to uh, to put uh, the, his, his code, so he doesn't need to to get uh, uh, to put his code in another data center. So that was the main idea to uh, to put uh, an all-in-one uh, solution for local developers. So another idea was to uh, uh, to create a community, to create a community. Uh, in, uh, in Africa uh, because we believe that uh, the, the, the service that may be required by, uh, by uh, this population may be the same in, uh, in different countries. And we also believe that we, could, it could be good to create what we've called uh, uh, some uh, micro services. So it's, it's very simple services. But if we can develop a lot of, of these uh, microservices, that can help also uh, uh, people to develop maybe more uh, advanced services uh, after that. So as Orange also, we, we try also to, uh, to, 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 to help uh, the country to, to develop. We have some uh, responsibility in, uh, to, to, to develop the, the countries. So uh, it was also uh, one uh, our objective to do that. So how to achieve such a solution? As we were in Orange Labs, uh, it was an internal Orange Labs project, uh, but we face big, big issues. How is it possible to provide a such solution with a low cost, with a, with a low cost solution? So 
uh, there was not a lot of uh, possibilities. So we imagine, you imagine that we jumped in open source solutions. Of course, we, because in, uh, in our team we were uh, quite aware of open source solution, and we know that open source solution are quite mature, and also, we know also, also that uh, people in a university in Africa, uh, that they are quite familiar also with these uh, open source components. So we decided to use uh, the, the classical lamp uh, stack, and above it, we uh, deployed uh, also uh, specific, uh, let's say, telco components, like Asterix, OpenSips, or Canal, who typically uh, manage uh, voice over IP and SMS uh, uh, gateways. And so we, uh, the project uh, realized all this glue uh, between all these components and uh, provides some API to hide the complexity, for example, of the Asterix solutions. So, uh, a local developer doesn't know to understand how Asterix works, he just needs to understand the API we provide uh, to him. So, <coughs> um, we just now, we have just uh, finished the, um, the, 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 the open source solution because we decided uh, to, uh, um, to, to, to also to, to, op to, to open the code uh, that ties all these components and to, to, uh, to put it in an open source uh, forge. Like, and we decided to put it in uh, OWA2 because we believe that fits uh, well with, uh, with, with the objective of uh, OWA2. Uh, and we, in this, uh, in this solution, we have uh, so a lot of API. And typically, if you want to uh, to write uh, uh, an, an SMS, uh, it's a simple, uh, simple code uh, using a PHP, for example. And you don't know to uh, to understand all the the complexity behind all the the components we use and the, the 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 glue between them. So it's quite easy. So you can write this code using your own uh, uh, development environment, uh, for example, Eclipse. And after you upload the code using uh, our pass, and after you can execute uh, the service and test it lively uh, on, on the networks. So you, of course, we, we, we focus uh, on SMS and uh, voice control. So here, for example, you have some examples how to, uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to set up a call. Oops. So now, uh, is it just an Orange Labs, another Orange Labs project that stay in, uh, in Orange Labs? No, of course. <laughs> so we, I will give you some feedbacks from, uh, from the fields, from a real experience. So if you want to learn geography in Africa, Imaginov is a very good project. So, <laughs> so we started to... Um, to work with uh, Mauritius, so a small island. Uh, we, uh, we set up a code camp with uh, the local operator on some universities. And uh, we deploy a local solution in uh, Mauritius Telecom. And uh, we, uh, Mauritius Telecom launched uh, a contest using this platform. It was very a great, great success. Many uh, many services uh, were uh, developed during this uh, code camp event, and uh, it was uh, renewed uh, last year and, and this year. And it's a great success. For example, this uh, code camp expo in Mauritius Telecom gathered about uh, uh, fifty thousand people. It's a very great show. So we had also many uh, cooperation with uh, some university or NGO in, uh, in different countries. So typically uh, in, uh, in Senegal, Botswana, Cameroon, Mali, and so on. Okay. So, on, on, uh, so most of services so are based on, uh, on SMS or vocal uh, accesses. And typically we have developed services to, for example, to get the price on the market for local, uh, for local market uh, in, in some countries. Uh, we have also developed some, uh, some tools to be able to, uh, uh, to declare so, some births, for example, with some uh, NGO. So like that, uh, this, uh, this, this solution uh, gives uh, so, some, uh, an infrastructure that can be used by NGO, uh, by local universities, 
with a, a very uh, reduced cost because we, you need on, uh, only uh, uh, to 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 to, uh, to to us the code in uh, any uh, uh, any uh, infrastructure and it's, uh, it's a small uh, few server and it works. So it was uh, Orange Expo uh, in, in Mauritius Telecom that uh, you can see emerging over here. Uh, oops, sorry. So it was uh, the, the, the starting point of the um, of the usage of, of the emerging of solution. So back uh, two years ago. So uh, so as a conclusion, what what can we say? So it's a, it's a, it's a reality. So I mean, uh, the solution is currently used by a large number of projects in Africa and will be used by collaborative European collaborative project also. Uh, it's also um, it was a good way also to uh, to promote the co-innovation in Africa because with this uh, tool it helps it helps uh, a lot uh, the, the, the local uh, operators to uh, to start to innovate uh, uh, using this platform. So now the so the solution is uh, is released as an open source uh, solution. Uh, we have a, a community also, uh, so uh, there's a lot of people who, uh, who have joined it. So we, we welcome uh, you, and, or you, or we um, encourage you to uh, promote also this kind of solution. Because it, what is quite new from Orange Labs is also we started to uh, to, uh, to use only uh, open source component. That was a, a first point that is important because it was not uh, obvious in this context where we are uh, uh, at the bridge between a telco world and the web world. And also, we also decided to release uh, the code we've developed uh, to, uh, but to offer the possibility to, uh, uh, to, to local actors, to universities, uh, to use it as a, free, uh, as a free solution, and also to, uh, to improve it uh, for, for us and for, the, for, 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 uh, for range purposes. So if you have, uh, if you want any uh, information, we have a portal, we have a Twitter account, Facebook account, and we uh, communicate quite a lot. And we had uh, yesterday also, we had a communication from uh, from Orange, and we can find on the Orange portal uh, communication on uh, on Emerginov on, on uh, uh, as a good solution to co-innovate in uh, in Africa. So thank you uh, for your attention.